to my YouTube channel. Today we've come to Pretty Pools and basically everything around us is super tiny. So what we've decided to do is use this reverse lens mount, test it out and show you guys some of the smaller creatures living about in this meadows that we found ourselves in today. So when we arrived here, we realized that all of the wildlife around us was super tiny. We were seeing dragonflies, crickets, grasshoppers, bees, spiders. So we decided to make a macro video, but didn't have a macro lens with us. But I did have this reverse lens mount in my bag. So what we're gonna do is attach it to this Canon 50mm prime lens. Um, basically, you attach this side to the side that you'd normally use to take the photos. Um, and you literally just screw it onto the lens and then pop that onto the camera and then the other side this is the scary part because you have the sensor exposed um, but that's going to be what you're using to take the photos and you screw this ring just onto the end like that super sensitive Everything's like super, super, super close. I don't want to actually ruin the spider's web. It's so sensitive. Definitely easier actually having a macro lens. Okay, so basically it got a little bit hot, so we came into the forest, which is just on the opposite side of the road to the pool, and we found this spot with loads of spiders. So we've got this light, which is helping us get the macro shots much sharper. Basically, this lens is good, but because it's reverse mounted, you can't focus with it at all. So you basically have to rock your body back and forth to be able to focus. Um, so I'm basically putting a really high shutter speed on the camera and then kind of rocking backwards, hoping that one of those shots will then be in focus. I did want to film this to be able to show you, um, but the camera basically thinks that it doesn't have a lens attached, so it won't let me film. Um, so I guess that's one of the downsides of using this versus an actual proper macro lens. Also, the photos that we're getting are cool, but they're quite artsy. They're not super sharp. Um, they're focused on, say, like just a tiny bit of the spider or a tiny bit of the flower. Um, you can't really, with this reverse lens mount, get the whole spider in focus. So it's definitely not optimal, but this is about £10 versus, what, how much is the 100mm macro for Canon? A few hundred? <laughs> so it's the budget version, so you're going to have to expect to have bit of downsides but it's pretty good behind the scenes thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit that like and subscribe button and i hope to see you on my channel again soon bye